Hello, hello, hello. What have I got for you today? Well, I have a bit of a shopping haul for you today. I use an online company, I have been, especially during lockdown, um, called poundshop.com. Um, it's not it's not Poundland, but it's a similar type of shop. But it's all online. They do all the same sorts of things. So it's kind of a pound shop, pound land type haul. Right, what have I got? First of all, I've got these, which are the salt and vinegar savouries. You can get the cheesy biscuits, all the salt and vinegar ones. Um, my boys and Lee like both of them, to be honest. Doesn't seem to be a preference, they seem to like like them all. Uh, for Kenzie's lunch boxes, we have some mini cheddars. These were, I think everything I ordered, I believe was a pound. Some things might have been two pounds. I'm not 100% sure. 18. I mean, even if it's two pounds rather than a pound, there's 18 in there. I think this might have been the two pound pack, actually. I originally ordered the one pound pack and then realized it was econo more economical because I got more to get the two pound bag. So this was the two pound bag. We've never tried these before. The boys and Lee would like them, I'm sure. They are grilled cheddar and sizzling steak flavor breadsticks. It's again, great for Kenzie's lunchbox or a snack or with a little picky tea. Oh, here's the cheese savouries. I, I did get one of each. There's the cheese savouries. Just as yummy as the salt and vinegar ones. And, oh, we got some baked bites. Cheesy Cathedral City baked bites. Um, again, these are individual packs, five individual packs, perfect for lunch boxes. I buy a lot of things with a view that they will be good for a lunchbox. Now Kenzie's back at school and not learning from home. I'm thinking, what can I give him in his lunchboxes? Uh, both my lads like pretzels, so I picked up two bags of these. Just the original sea salt flavour pretzels. I'm not a lover of pretzels, but the boys love these and will eat loads of them. They'll eat them as a snack or they'll eat them with a meal, so... Two bags of those. Uh, no, I lie. Three bags of those. <laughs> they do like them, so. Now, Lee's not keen on gravy. And I'm always trying to think of something else apart from cheese, uh, not cheese sauce, bread sauce, that he can have with his meal. I thought we'd try some pepper sauce. I know you usually put pepper sauce on a steak, don't you? But, I don't know, we could have it with something else, I'm sure. It would be fine with something else. We could try it with something else. Lee's not a big lover of steak. Brendan loves steak, and I often just buy him a steak that he can cook. Uh, was it just two of these, or is there more? I think it might have been two for a pound. So, pepper sauce. It's the Coleman's brand. Mint sauce. Love mint sauce. I grew up having mint sauce with lamb dinners and stuff, but now with my lads, I will, we put mint sauce on everything. And our little trick, because I remember making mint sauce when I was younger. Now, I don't know if it's just the way my family did it to make it last longer. Because obviously people were more frugal back then. Or whether it's the way you're meant to do it, I don't know. But we always put a few spoonfuls of this into a bowl, poured in some malt vinegar, mixed it up and placed it on the table with a spoon. And that's how we did our mint sauce. I mean, you can take it straight from the jar. It's ready to eat straight from the jar. But I do the same thing. I, I mix some with some malt vinegar and put it on the table. And it means it lasts longer. The other thing I got was some garlic granules. Now, because I use HelloFresh, they, a lot of their meals, or the meals that I pick, have garlic in them. And they send you a huge, great big garlic bulb for every meal that requires a piece of garlic. So I do have a lot of garlic. 
there have been times when I've thought it would be nice when I haven't had garlic to have a powdered garlic. So I've got a powdered garlic. And that was a pound. As was the mint sauce. Some foam chick shapes for crafting with the kids. There are 12 in there for a pound. I want to say these were 79p. I don't know why. I want, to, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they were a pound. Little carrots. I thought we could do like a counting activity or something with them. They're like just little foamy carrot things that would be great over the Easter when I get the Easter box of goodies down. And because it's Easter, and because I don't like arguments, and I've usually got three little ones at a time, I got three little Easter chicks. Oh, don't go off the table. with the chicks. Easter chicks, a pound each. I've got an overnight hand cream. I've actually got this for Brendan because his hands are really, really bad. He does wash them a lot um, and he uses a lot of soap. So I'm hoping if I get him to put this on every night, it might help. So it's a Dove overnight manicure hand cream. It renews hands in just one night 72 hour active moisturization. So, I mean, I don't know how great that will be, but it was worth a try when it only cost me a pound. And oh, this one just looked nice. It was, I don't really need any more body lotions, but it was Love, and Be Love Beauty and Planet, Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower Luscious Hydration Body Lotion. It's all vegan and not tested on animals. And I like my products to not be tested on animals. So I have that. Thought I'd give that a go. Oh, more lunchbox bits. Jammy Dodgers, six mini raspberry flavored packets. Not the packets aren't raspberry flavored. The, the biscuits are <laughs> raspberry flavored. Six individual packets of raspberry flavored mini jammy dodgers lunch boxes and the other thing i get either for a snack or kenzie's not great with breakfast so it's something if he wanted to have something in his bag that he can eat when he's feeling that he can put something in his tummy in the morning or for anyone else in the house that wants it we've got cherry bakewell alpen bars these are 66 calorie per bar fruit and nut chocolate ones these are slightly more these aren't the light ones but even so they're not huge in the calorie department um alpen like jaffa cake version and the double chocolate light Alpen bars. So yeah, 67 calories per bar. I imagine they're still full of sugar. <laughs> also got some Grey's bars, like the little, uh, they're called Wow Bakes. This bit's a bit like brownies, maybe. 94 calorie ones. Um, this is a chocolate and hazelnut one. You get six in a pack. Again, they're individual, so they'd be perfect for lunch boxes. Awfully and Brendan to take with them to work just as a, a little snack. Um, and this one is a honeycomb caramel one. And all of these things do contain gluten, so they're not me friendly. Um, but the rest of the family can enjoy them. Now, as much as I don't like to feed these to my boys, uh, Occasionally they do get them and Lee likes them as well. Instant noodles, just have them in the cupboard. They have actually been in our cupboard a lot more since lockdown. One, because they're one of these things that can be kept in the cupboard for a long period of time um, and not go off. And also when 
Kenty's been working from home, like school from home, and I've been looking after the children. If, this is just a really quick lunch that he can he can sort out himself. So he's had a, a couple of these sort of super noodles type things. Um, these are the curry flavour ones. And Lee and Kenzie love curry flavour things. Um, although Ken, Kenzie doesn't like curry, which is an interesting, I don't know. He doesn't like curry, but he likes curry sauce. And he likes curry pot noodles. So this is lost the pot noodle because there is no pot. Um, I don't know if this makes them any better in the way of uh, um, recyclable. No, it says here it can't be recycled. So that's still no better, is it, than the big plastic pot? And I suppose you have to put it. These are easier to do from home, I suppose, rather than work, because you do actually have to cook them in the microwave um, or in a pan. But... I believe they were three for a pound, which is why there's three of those. And again, he hasn't had it for a long time, but it's good to have in the lockdown cupboard. Tins of spaghetti bolognese. The thing about these sorts of shops is the food you're buying is not going to be healthy. Um, so please don't look at this and think I feed my family just junk. Because for the most part, as Anyone who watches my vlogs will know my family are fed meat, veg, potatoes, you know, pasta. They have good meals for the most part. But what we have learned through lockdown is it's always good to have some things in the cupboard because when lockdown descends at a moment's notice and you've run out of food and you can't get a delivery slot because everybody's clamouring for a delivery slot, it's always good to have some backups. So that's what we've got. Uh, oh, and because Lee and Kenzie like the chip shop curry sauce, I hate this stuff. I got them some sauce granules. So I suppose it's like making gravy with granules, but this is chip shop curry sauce. So Kenzie can make himself curry sauce any time he likes to go with any meal he has. Uh, okay, this is for me. There is something in this box for me. Peanuts. I love peanuts. So I've got myself a pack of just plain roasted, salted peanuts. No, not roasted, just salted peanuts. I don't like dry roasted. I don't like mess. You don't mess with peanuts. It's like tea. You don't mess with tea. So are these roasted? Have they been cooked? I don't know. They're just salted. I don't know. I don't like dry roasted. This just says peanut, sunflower oil and salt. My treat. Uh, I got this for Lee, although I think Kenzie will probably get involved in this because they both love their coffees. This is a little pack. Oh, put it upside down, sorry. A little variety pack of Beanie's coffee. And you have a double chocolate flavour. It's, it's got 12 sachets, so assume... Okay, there's one of each. There's double chocolate, a gingerbread, nutty hazelnut, very vanilla, mint chocolate, cinnamon hazelnut, amaretto almond, Irish cream, creamy caramel, chocolate orange, cookie dough, and cookie delight. So those are the flavours. I want to just check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, the bottom of the packet was open, so I was a bit worried that some had fallen out. And you get these little sachets, and you have an individual shot of a flavoured coffee. We have four pots of the microwave sticky puds, Cabris chocolate sticky puds. Mm. Oh, I just noticed on the side they do a fudge sticky pud as well. Nice. These have many, many calories, I'm sure. <laughs> 30 seconds in the microwave, you have yourself a little chocolatey pot treat. Warm chocolatey pot treat. And for those of you that are not English, please stifle your giggles for the next product. Okay? You have been warned. You're going to have a little schoolboy, schoolgirl <laughs> moment over this. 
Spotted Dick. This is an English pudding, okay? I grew up having Spotted Dick as a child at school. And I know it sounds terribly inappropriate, and I know you're all giggling now. I'll just give you a moment. Have we pulled ourselves together? Do you need a few more minutes? I'm going to say the word again in a minute and just to prepare yourself. Spotted dick is lovely. <laughs> okay, right. So it's a steamed pudding with sultanas and raisins. And again, these are individual pots, microwave for 30 seconds. Anyway, that is everything. Everything from my box. Lots of packed lunchy bits. One little treat for me. <laughs> Lots of things for my family. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the haul. Again, if you want to know where I got it all from, it is this company here. The poundshop.com. There you go. Thanks for watching. Mwah!